It is quite apparent that um, it is quite apparent that the United States is full on heading to a, um, I guess, an attempt to warehouse thousands upon thousands of uh, of children simultaneously, not over the course of a month, but 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 simultaneously. There are reports now that as of uh, Sunday, nearly 300 of the 550 children currently in custody at U.S. border stations had spent more than 72 hours there, which is the time limit for immigrants of any age to be held in the government's temporary facilities. Almost half of those 300 children are younger than 12. They are classified by the Department of Homeland Security as tender age children. The reason why they are overstaying at the border stations is because the U.S. Health and Human Services Agency, which is uh, supposed to be sheltering children for longer term, is also backed up. It has... 11,200 so-called unaccompanied children in its care. Now, here's the thing is that it's unclear if they are unaccompanied now that they have been separated from their parents or they showed up at the border unaccompanied. And my understanding is, and, and, and there's definitely a lot of confusion around this, that, that a significant chunk of them are unaccompanied now because they've been separated from their parents. The, the place where Merkley went the other day was one of those places where Health and Human Services now has those so-called unaccompanied children that have been separated from their parents. This was the confusion. The first 1,500 were, were genuinely unaccompanied. They were from a different, essentially, era of our posture towards refugees. But now there does not seem to be a category for children who come with their parents, whose parents are not illegal immigrants. They are refugee seekers. They walk up legally. They register legally. They do everything within the framework the statutory framework that we have to deal with refugees who come to our border. Except for now we've just added this feature of we have statutes that say we welcome you, at least for the process. We, we may not let you stay if we determine that you're not eligible. But to discourage you from even asking, we're going to take your kids away. That's what we do. Here is a... Um, The acting deputy director of U.S. Customs and Border Protection on, uh, where is this, on Fox and Friends? Yeah. And uh, Fox and Friends are trying to wrap their heads around this. What America did during the times of slavery. But the fact that those families are being separated at the border, the fact that children are being torn out of the arms of their mothers is on Donald Trump's head. Oh, my goodness, that sounds terrible. Um, there you've got uh, a number of Democrats blasting uh, the administration for uh, removing children from their families. Pause it for one second. Let's just absorb this. Just the sociopathy of that. Like, could you? <laughs> these, the guys make, say, these guys make uh, taking kids away from their parents sound terrible. Oh, oh, you ripped a five-year-old refugee seeker from their parents. Whoa. Elizabeth oh. Warren Wait a getting a little we're catty gonna, there. We're going to get the real story. Sorry, Pocahontas. We're going to get the real story. It's the first gonna... time that I've laughed in the whole context of talking about this just obscene story. Unbelievable. And just, and just take it to Steve Ducey just right. being the worst person in the world. Oh, my goodness, that sounds terrible. Um, mm. There you've got uh, a number of Democrats blasting uh, the administration for uh, removing children from their families. Uh, is that really happening? Ron uh, Vitello is the acting deputy commissioner of U.S. Customs and Border Protection. He joins us live Jeez. today. Chief, what is the truth? What is going on on our southern border regarding families? So what's, what happens is when people cross the border illegally, that's a federal crime. 
and working with Secretary Nielsen, the Department of Justice, the Attorney General, he's offered to prosecute anybody that crosses the border illegally. That's what, what's, what's happening. So all of these cases are being referred, and it hap if it happens to be a family, then they'll be separated during the time that the adjudication for that federal Has crimes. it always been like that? It, it happens in other contexts, sure. Um, what's happened now <laughs> what's is that the, the attorney... Pause it for one second. I just want you to notice, like, wh the, the, what this guy, he is... I don't know if I could characterize what he's saying is two lies. First off, he doesn't answer the question about refugees, right? He doesn't answer the question about refugees. First, he talks about uh, families that have illegally attempted to cross the border. And so he's justifying. He's not saying we don't do it. He's justifying it, but not addressing um, uh, the fact that we're doing this to refugees. Continue. Chief, what is the truth? What is going on on our southern border regarding families? So what's, what happens is when people cross the border illegally, that's a federal crime. And working with Secretary Nielsen, the Department of Justice, the Attorney General, he's offered to prosecute anybody that crosses the border illegally. That's, what, that's what's, what's happening. So all of these cases are being referred, and it ha if it happens to be a family, then they'll be separated during the time that the adjudication for that federal Has crime Has it always is. been like that? It, it happens in other contexts, sure. Pause it. In other contexts, so for instance, like let's say um, a uh, parent is beating a child, we will we will separate the child from the family. Uh, let's say the parents aren't there, we will will have the kids. But isn't, we just have taken something that happens in another context, like in um, you know depictions of Nazi Germany, let's say, and we've just moved it into this context. It happens in other contexts, sure. Um, what's happened now is that the Attorney General, Secretary Nielsen, has said, hey, you will refer all people who cross Pause it. the border. And here's this guy. I, I'm just, yeah. yeah. But that's another I'm just, one I'm you just, don't I, necessarily want ordered. to echo in this right. conversation right. is the, uh, the I'm rule. Just, I've following. been ordered by the, you know, the Department of, the Secretary of Department of Homeland Security and uh, the uh, Attorney General have um, made a new offer to uh, them and to me. Uh, we will refer all people who cross the border illegally. We're not going to exempt anybody, that, any class of right. an illegal alien that crosses the border illegally. It's a federal crime. So we're referring those cases for prosecution. So what would happen uh, in 2014 or 2012 if a family came across uh, to illegal, to breach our border? Well, it still was a federal crime then. Um, we just didn't have the resources or the initiative to... Uh, refer those cases for prosecution. We now have a president who believes in border security. What we know in the border patrol is that if you uh, provide a consequence Plus, to I mean, did you, you, did you hear what this? I mean, these effing morons at Fox and Friends just found out, just got the answer to their question. So, so in two, 2012, 2014, it was the same deal, right? Well, uh, no, we have we have a new initiative. We we didn't have the resources, and then he had to admit, like, well, we didn't have the initiative. In other words. We just weren't encouraged to separate families in this way. These people are, I mean. They're obscene. It, They're the, disgusting. Just, and these are overused words, unfortunately, oh which have no, God. not enough meaning. But, I mean, what else can you say? Uh, honestly, I, I mean. These are people who should be publicly shamed. Abby Huntsman sitting there quietly, right? I mean, they, you know, honestly, they, like. It's evil. I, I really, best case scenario, I, I just hope these guys all go home and are just so desperate that they're drinking cough medicine. Like <laughs> that it's just, they're so desperate to get away from um, of, of what they have to sort of project. That would imply a for conscience. Their Im I, that I, would imply a conscience, which I don't see any evidence that's of just, these people. It's stunning to me. Like you could go up and go and show up at work every day. It's not like these guys don't have any cash, right? Like, they, like uh, it, it's just, it's just amazing to me. <laughs> German Steve Ducey. <laughs> They're putting people in camps. And that's bad. Oh, oh! oh so they make it sound like it's a bad. Wow, thing. so sanctimonious. Yeah. <laughs> but we were doing this back in the twenties, right? Yeah, I mean, wasn't that so was so happening? Much, it wasn't like the Weimar people. It wasn't like they liked Jews either. Come on. <laughs> Everybody's whining. Oh, oh. <laughs>